The big thing is, is simplicity. It's, it's so very simple. We get very few problems that we, that we can't solve ourselves. So that's why we stick with them. And I, ca I couldn't imagine having any other make really. A much, um, a much higher output for the money really. It um, is, is very, uh, it's a very cheap combine comparatively. And um, it's very reliable. We've always been happy with them. Nice, quiet cab, very comfortable. And um, yeah, we've decided to stick with Case, basically. It's been the most reliable combine we ever had, ever. And uh, we had it for 25 seasons. And if it's half as reliable as the old one, we'll be well pleased. The machine's performance with regard to straw quality is, uh, in, in my opinion, is excellent. Uh, we, we do sell all the straw. Uh, none of it is, is chopped and we have had no complaints from the straw merchants, local farmers, even down to um, horse and pony people that buy it. The length of the straw, that's the length of the straw with the new axle flow. Every one is near the same length, it's, it's a good bit longer than the, than the old tape axle flow. The old tape axle flow would have given you straw about that length. And look at the difference now with the two combines. The straw coming out of the back of combine is, well, really excellent. And uh, our next door neighbour bales all our cereal straw and he was really impressed with it because it left a nice, neat row, which was just about dead right width for his baler and he could romp on baling and, and he's, he was really, really pleased with it and so were we. Um, extremely good, we, um, more so the year before last. Um, we, we were cutting in some absolutely dreadful conditions and we were just amazed that it was carrying on chugging, chugging the crop through. Very impressive, we're, st we're still cutting wheat when a lot of people have gone home. No, uh, very successful first year with no reliability problems at all. Uh, and a successful harvest. Um, yeah, reliability um, it, it's, it's very good. It has you know, gone through the harvest extremely well. Only a few minor issues, really, which, um, which to be honest, I think you'd, you'd have anyway with anyone's machines. And we've had absolutely no go wrong. The reliability is 100%. So majority of the work you can do yourself. Um, it's a very reliable, easy combine to work on. And they are very simple machines, I mean really there isn't too much for them hopefully to go wrong or, or to spend too much time trying to service and look after, so uh, no service costs are, are very good actually. And Case uh, work with us and they try and keep the costs down to an absolute minimum. We've been very well supported by Case, um, we have Case tractors on the farm uh, and we have found that if we ever have problems, they do their damnedest to sort them out very quickly. So I would say the support is admirable. Okay, daily, daily maintenance is, is, is almost non-existent. I think there's a two or three grease nipples, and other than just checking the, the very few limited number of chains and belts that are on the machine, um, this is all made extremely easy by the accessibility all panels fold up right out of the way so you can see everything and the main thing I do in the morning is first is to fold all the panels up and blow out any dust that's accumulated and in doing so you, you actually get to see everything on the machine so it, it's, it's minimal really I mean it always has been it's even more so on these latest um, 20 series machines because of the, the way they've designed the panels to, to lift up and you can just see everything and get, get to everything. The rotor reverse feature on the axle flow is, is excellent, it's a, it's, a, it's a fantastic idea. It means you can push your combine to its actual limits because you know you've got a system and a function that if anything does go wrong, you can get out of without even leaving the cab. Got the most comfortable seat I've sat in, better than the one I, in my living room. You just sit in the seat and you relax. Everything is perfectly laid out, even for me being a left-hander. I could sit in there for 15 hours comfortably, no problem at all. And it's very, very quiet. It's actually quieter than the tractor to sit in during the harvest period. The financial reasons for getting the axle flow are quite simple really. In, in my opinion, it basically comes down to the good value for money. Uh, it's, it's reliable, it's um, 
it was the dealer backup is there and the uh, the product is good with the the case name and their backup and the cases backup is there as well um, so financially it it just stacked up in every way well it's far more economical for a start you have you haven't so much downtime for servicing which is a big thing uh, and the one combine is cut in an awful lot more in a day which is far more economical in the fuel side and the service side as I said before is 100% uh, Any farmer considering IF well they'd be pretty stupid to sort of like not really look at it uh, our neighbour saw how well ours performed last year and he's gone out and ordered one Yes, if I was going to recommend a uh, case axle float to another farmer, one of the important things would be the length of the straw that it leaves, because it's an important thing up here. The sample of the grain, which is second to none, and the ease of driving. I've, I've got a 19 year old grandson, he could even drive the machine. It's just, it's just a dream to drive.